Hey guys, it's Beauty the Kid here, coming at you from eBMX, and today I want to talk you through the four most popular lightweight electric motorcycles in the world. All right, and Billy, we have got the Talaria Sting, yep. the Suron Light B or Suron X, the Suron Ultra B, and the Apollo RFN. Yep. Now, why did we choose these four particular motos, mate? Well, they're the most popular and also they're the most accessible. Yeah, exactly. So they all come out of China. Most people will be familiar with the Suron factory, which I guess started this whole lightweight electric craze maybe five years ago. And they make the Suron Light B and the new Suron Ultra B. And also in the back here, we've got the Suron Storm B, but that didn't qualify as a lightweight electric motorcycle, did it? How much does that one weigh? About 120 kilos. 120 or 127 kilos, yeah. So that is not a lightweight electric motor. Um, then Talaria, the Talaria factory, uh, some of the engineers at Suron split and they started Talaria, which looks similar to the Suron Light B, but it is different. Um, so this is their first Talaria Sting version, and they've been putting different models out ever since. Suron came up with the Ultra B recently, and the new kit on the block, Billy, the Apollo RFN. And yeah. Apollo has actually been uh, manufacturing motorcycles for maybe 10 or 15 years out of China, yeah. but this is their first foray into the electric market. Yeah. So these are the four most popular highest and best selling electric motos in the world right now that you can buy and kid it's time to start our review yeah what's first man we'll go with the talari sting over here all right so tell me about the talaria sting what upgrades yeah. have ebmx done to well, this particular bike the battery for the 72 volt 57 amp hour yeah, so that's a massive battery. That's a four kilowatt battery. Yeah. And you can see here that you need the EBMX seat extenders to actually fit the battery in. It's got a nice clean look with those seat extenders. Yeah. But what can we do if we don't want to raise the seat? Um, we can do the camel hump in the back. We can. So here's another Talaria Sting um, with the extended lid rather than the seat extenders. And EBMX offer both of those when you buy the big battery. So these go with the uh, big 57 amp hour yep. and the 60 volt 65 amp hour. We also make two smaller versions, a 6053 and a 7242 as well. Now what's powering all the juice to the battery here, man? The X9000 controller. Yeah, that's it. The wonderful X9000 controller that you're going to see on all of the EBMX bikes here. Yep. Um, so yeah, EBMX developed the X9000 controller. Um, well, we, 12 months of planning and manufacturing and we released it to the market about six months ago, Billy, and it's now the most popular uh, electric controller for lightweight electric dirt bikes in the world. So we're absolutely stoked with that. What else have we done to this particular Talaria Sting? Well, I've got the full essential kit on it. Yeah, we have, man. Um, yep. The full essential kit. Other than that, we've kept it pretty stock. You know, there's some foot pegs here and some rear pillion pegs just for just for a little bit of fun. Yeah. Um, but you've ridden this Talaria Sting a bit. You've ridden this other one here as well. How do you feel about riding, firstly, uh, in a suburban area and then off-road? Yeah, well, they're good fun to ride. They're probably not the best for off-road. Okay. Is that the rake angle of the forks that you found and yeah, the geometry is just a bit yeah, different? it's not as good as the, the geometry, I mean, mm -hmm. the light B. Yep. Okay, so we're going to get to the light B in a minute, but let's sneak right across here to the Apollo. As we said, Billy, the Apollo RFN is the new kid on the block. Now, of all the four electric motos we're reviewing, this one looks the most stock, doesn't yeah. it? Um, but is there something hiding under the hood? Yeah, we've got an x control. 9000 controller under yeah, there. Yeah, we sure have. You can't actually see it, but there is an X9000 controller. And what the engineering team are doing is we're going to be making a plate so that the X9000 can bolt straight on there uh, with a custom harness. And I would think in the next four to six weeks, 
So that will be around about early September 2023, if you're watching this. Um, we'll be going to market with the X9000 for the RFN. Uh, on this particular uh, battery, we have bypassed it. And uh, you got to ride this the other day, Billy. I think yeah. you might have been the second person in the world to test the X9000 on the RFN. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Yeah, it was heaps smoother. A lot smoother than yeah. before? Yeah. Yeah. And a lot more power as well with the X9000. So you're only going to get more power out of this battery um, if you do put an X9000 and bypass it. Uh, of course, EBMX have got an RFN battery coming to the market as well. Yeah. Yep. So round about the same time, early September, we will have an offering to the market for a full performance upgrade for an RFN. So uh, yeah, hang on for that one, guys. All right, you are standing next to one jazzy looking Ultra B, man. What have we done to this one? Well, we've put the super low tide wheels on it, so now it feels like you're riding on air. <laughs> yeah. You love riding this one, don't you? Yeah. With the super moto setup. Um, what about the rainbow decal and yeah. that, uh, that seat cover? Yeah. So you can see this particular bike doesn't have an X9000. But Billy, let's wander over to another one that we've been modding up at the moment where we're setting this particular Ultra B up for Jai Roberts, who is one of our test riders and a well-known supercross and motocross racer. And this bike's been set up with a 29 and a half kilowatt tune. You can yeah. see the X9000 down here and it's paired with our big 81.4 volt battery. Um, now this is an absolute monster, 2118 setup. I've got a 19 inch wheel that's going on for Jai here as well. But this is a full mod, this one, isn't it, man? Yeah. Now you've had a chance to ride this, what are you saying? Yeah, it's an absolute beast. It's probably the most power I've ever ridden. And you're only in mode one, kid. Yeah. It goes right up to uh, mode three. So EBMX sell these Ultra B uh, 2118 wheel sets with or without tyres, foot pegs, kickstands, decals, and the new Ultra B motor coming as well, Billy. Yeah. We call that the XUB80. Up on the website, you can pre-order those. Um, so you'll be able to ride at 29 and a half or 30 kilowatts. That's 40 horsepower for a bike that only weighs, well, 85 kilos yeah. straight out of the crate. By the time we put the big battery in the wheels and tires, probably 95 kilos. But that power to weight ratio is not far off the Stark Varg, if not a little bit better. Yeah. So yeah, guys, all of these parts the motor, the battery, the X9 kit can all be bought as a bundle up on the EBMX website. So have a look at that if you want to get uh, two and a half times more than stock power. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's circle back over here, Billy, and I'm passing one of our um, race bikes and locking into a very familiar looking Suron uh, light B, but uh, it looks very different to the stock Suron X. So yeah. over here, this is a stock Suron X straight out of a crate, mate, isn't it? Yeah. And this bike, and I say familiar, is your personal Suron light B. Yeah. So talk us through the differences and what you've done. Well, what we've done is we've put the EBMX plastics kit on it with the Espana decal. All right, and I like your choice of seat covers there yeah. too, Billy. Seat cover. What are you running in the back of the bike, mate? We've got a 16-inch tyre at the back. So 16-inch wheel, EBMX, you're running the Michelin Star Cross, which is a yep. nice choice for, um, for trail riding. Yeah. And you've got a big EBMX shock as well. Yeah, I do, yeah. That's proper moto set up, isn't it? Yeah. And then all the other EBMX essential things, the, uh, the bars, the riser stem. Um, I like this front fender here. What do you think of that? Yeah, it's good. You like it? Yeah. I know some people prefer to have like the, the normal OEM fenders with them. Yeah. And that's okay, because if you do order the EBMX Moto Plastic Kit, we do provide uh, decals for both what we call the duck bill or the peak, and also the OEM front fender, if you want to put that one on instead of, instead of this one. I know you like that one, Billy. Yeah. Now tell me about the power, and look here. Purple X9 heat sink, mate. Yeah. So what have you done about the battery here, mate? Oh, we've just bypassed the battery. So bypassed the battery, running about eight and a half, nine kilowatts of power. 
nice smooth throttle control. That's enough for you when you go trail riding. Yeah. Get a couple of hours out of that battery. Yep. So that's what we call a stage one upgrade, Billy, EBMX stage one upgrade. But what about the stage two, mate? So over here, um, we've got a bike that I guess has got the proper stage two, the X9 again, but this time we've got the proper race battery. So 28 kilowatts of power out of this thing compared to eight and a half on Billy's bike. So these are the type of setups that Robbie Madison and Dylan Woodcock and Brett Baldwin and all the great riders from around the world have been riding on our EBMX race bikes. And behind you here, Billy, is the race bike setup we had for race two in Switzerland in the Explorer. Yeah. Yeah, that went pretty well, didn't it? Yeah. And what about race three? Where's that, mate? It's in France. It is, in about three weeks' time. Um, so we can't wait for that because we're going to have the new EBMX motors, the XLB60s in our race bikes. Yep. So that's going to be fantastic. Let's summarise for viewers the four bikes that we've looked at today. Yep. What are your thoughts, mate? Well, they're all really good lightweight bikes, but my favourite has got to be the Suron White B. And EBMX, love that. I mean, this is the bike that started the whole craze, and it's a bike that we've made pretty much every possible modification there is. Yeah, look, we make power upgrades for Talaria Sting, but we make full uh, mod modifying parts for the Light Bs and the Ultra Bs, and we're just starting to get into the RFN, as we said, we'll have the X9 and the big battery offering coming up really soon. And I think it's great, guys, if you're thinking about getting going electric, getting into the... Um, EBMX market, choosing a lightweight electric moto. We hope this video has helped you. Billy's favourite, of course, is the Suron Light B. Yep. Um, I love them all. EBMX make parts for all of them. As we say in the classics, Billy, ride fast. And don't die. And always wear a helmet and have a smile on your face. An electric and EBMX power is going to put a smile on your face, baby. Yep. Cheers, guys.